Hi boys and girls, it's my turn to read a bedtime story for you this evening. And the book that I have got is called Cyril and Pat. And it's by an author that I know that some of you, especially those boys and girls in year two, might recognise. It's by somebody called Emily Gravett. Year two boys and girls, do you recognise what else that that author has written? That's right, it's Meerkat Mail. Some of you might have already read that book at home too. So let's find out what things Cyril and Pat get up to in our story all about friendship this week. Lake Park only had one squirrel. All alone and sad. Poor Cyril. You see him here, look. Until the morning he met Pat his new best friend, a big grey, what do you think he's going to be? <gasps> Cyril says, squirrel, just like me. Hmm. <laughs> Not sure, let's find out. Pat and Cyril spent each day thinking up good games to play. They liked to put on puppet shows and test how fast a skateboard goes. You can see them on the skateboard here. Their favourite games were hide and seek. And one that they called Pigeon Sneak. What do you think they're going to do to these pigeons here, look? Cyril going, shh. Oh no. Boom! <laughs> oh Cyril, can't you see that your friend Pat is not like you? Your friends are <gasps> real joker. Look how good he is at making him laugh. At lunchtime, when the ducks were fed, Pat jumped in and took some bread. Oh, Cyril, can't you see that your friend Pat is not like you? Your friends are brilliant sharer. Look at the bread he stole. And he's sharing it with his best friend, Cyril. And when they both got chased by Slim together, they outwitted him. And who do you think Slim is? Look, it says here, Slim, and there's a picture of him there. Pat and Cyril. What's this hanging in off the back? I think Slim must be a dog. And can you see where they're chased all around the park? Oh, Cyril, can't you see that your friend Pat? He's not like you. Your friend's a clever squirrel. And you can't catch us shouted Cyril. Pat tried to learn to eat, uh, to earn a treat. Like Cyril could by looking sweet, but no one threw a treat for Pat. And you see here, look, here's Cyril looking all cute and they're giving him a little treat. And down here, nobody's giving poor Pat a treat because, oh, mum, I saw a great big they're gonna say, <gasps> rat, rat. You see, squirrely and um, Cyril the squirrel. He looked very confused. Oh, Cyril, can't you see that your friend Pat is nothing but a dirty rat? Says the pigeons. Oh, Cyril, can't you see that your friend Pat is nothing but a thieving rat? Oh dear, that bread he stole. Oh, Cyril, can't you see it? Facts are facts. Squirrels can't be friends with rats. Oh, oh dear. Poor old Cyril looks very sad. I wonder how Pat's feeling as well. Why, just because they're not the same, does that mean that they can't be friends then. 
Does that mean you've got to be the same if you want to be friends with other people? I'm not sure that's right. Oh dear. Cyril, now back on his own. Tried to play those games alone. Oh dear, he looks very lonely, look. But when he tried to outrun Slim, uh-oh, Slim's back, the dog, things didn't go so well for him, uh-oh. Can you see his bushy tail just disappearing off here and it looks like Slim's catching him up. Past the pond and down the slide, no time for him to try and hide. Cyril ran out of the park into the city, uh-oh. <gasps> oh no, into the dark. Look, it's night time and here is Cyril and Slim. Oh dear, he looks terrified, all alone and scared. Poor Cyril. <gasps> Not quite alone, you stupid squirrel. And not so brave without that rat. What's he gonna do? Ahem. Do you mean me? Said Pat. Look, he's come to the rescue with all his other friends. Lake Park still only has one squirrel. But he is not alone. Now Cyril lives there with a large grey rat. His brave and clever best friend, Pat. Ah, oh, so they were friends in the end again. Look at them, here they are, look at the bottom of their tree. Can you see them? So that story is really interesting because I didn't think that you had to be the same as somebody else just to be friends. Because remember, we're all special and we're all different. And it didn't matter that Cyril and Pat were different creatures. What it mattered was the fact that they had lots of jokes, lots of games and lots of fun together. So make sure you remember that when you're thinking about your friends at school as well. And maybe have another little listen to Cyril and Pat. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you all again soon.